Okay, this was in my pocket. I'm gonna take it out and put it on. Listen, when you are shopping around for a smartwatch, whether it is for you or it is for a gift for somebody, and I know it can get very overwhelming because there's a lot going on. They're like, well, how do I know which smartwatch to get? Yes, smartwatches are gonna say, it's gonna track your steps, it's gonna track your calories, and that's pretty much a basic of a smartwatch. What you want to look for is does this smartwatch take phone calls from the watch because that's gonna be your first separator between the best and your basic smartwatch. Then you're gonna go, is it waterproof? Am I able to take this out? And now I'm in the elements and you know, snow and water and you know, in the shower, whatever. Yeah, this one's waterproof as well. Now, let's go one more separator. Does the smartwatch you're looking at have you enabled to Alexa? The same thing that you use on your phone or your, you know, your home hub, whatever it is, this is the watch that does it all without a price tag that is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We go to Qubit. This is even technically at its full price at $90 for everything you get would have been a steal. We have it on a Black Friday deal for $59.99. You're gonna pick between the black, which is the black bezel, the black band, or the rose gold, which is a rose gold bezel and a rose gold band. It is super flexible, uh, men, women, the sizing, the, there's multiple holes in the band, so it's definitely adjustable that's on here. You can customize the face, um, you could do all of the things, and see, look, I'm, I'm wearing the rose gold, you're wearing the black Justin Hyatt, so it's very unisex. Yeah, well, we started with six colors. I know. We've only had one presentation. <laughs> I'll tell you because I, if you do start looking at smartwatches, it does yeah. get a little overwhelming and a little intimidating because you're like, I, I don't know which one, which one do I go with or yeah. whatever. And that is how you have to start with the basics yeah. and then get the one that has more feature rich, but you're not having to pay this. Um, so my mom, she's she's been like, which one should I get? I don't See? know. And so she's been looking at this one because again, you know, it's it's sub 100, not just $100, $80, $70. Yeah. So I think when you're looking for a smart watch, I totally understand. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are very much the same way, which is I want to get as many features as I possibly can for the best value. That's exactly what this is. So qubit has been around for a very, very long time. And that's pretty much where they specialize is in that little group, er, you know, that area of value smart watches with as many many of your high-end features. Here's the one thing that you really have not seen at this value is the fact that there is the smart assistant built in. So you are gonna have a watch that is going to be able to take phone calls. It's got Bluetooth, uh, so that's how it connects to your phone. But that means when you get a phone call on your phone, you'll be able to answer it and talk through your watch right here. Uh, text messages, notifications. But yes, it is even waterproof. So you can swim with this, you can shower with it. When you want to be able to ask it questions, you have Alexa built in to your watch. The other great thing about this is that you have all of your fitness tracking. We get it, right? I mean, all of us are thinking, I think maybe I've gained, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds over the holidays, right? right? The other next part is this is going to have your heart rate monitor. So this is where we're going to be able to track all of our steps. And then right here is going to be our heart rate monitor. We're going to have an oxygen uh, monitor as well. So we'll be able to see exactly what our blood oxygen level is. We'll be able to see where our heart rate is. And again, you're not spending $250 where I think when you think about these types of features, I'm running about 97. It's an early morning. Coffee's kicking in. I've been running around the studio. Oh, I'm all the way up to 102. Call the doctor. Is that, is that good or bad? Call the doctor. I don't even know where you're supposed to be at. <laughs> so that's exactly, you know, that's one of the things that we, you know, we kind of talk about, which is when we're thinking about getting healthy, yeah. you need to have like a baseline. Yes. Right? You need to know where you're starting. And the best way to know where you're starting is to have a, yeah. a, a fitness tracker, right? Uh, and the other great thing about Qubit is when you start to read reviews, it's about the, the accuracy of that yeah. data. It's about when you're gathering that data, what's, how accurate is it? How accurate are the steps? How accurate uh, you know, is my heart rate on here? How accurate is the blood oxygen level? So having that type of accuracy, and then okay, well, I'm only putting a thousand steps in a day, Okay, well, I need to start moving a little bit more. Yeah. That's where we want to start, and I think this is a great way to do it. Uh, you know, we're doing a lot more, like, telehealth stuff. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously, there was a reason we started that whole thing, right? But I was thinking, nobody's taking my heart rate. Nobody's, like, testing all my things, right? I just get over a video call, and we do all the things. Yeah. But this is also a way for us to know the information. Um, if you're just tuning in, 
Justin Heights here, everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you're like, hey, that's, that's me. me. That's um, me. Um, smartwatches uh, in 2023 is one of the top items that people are asking for on their gift list. Um, first off, you probably wouldn't get a smartwatch that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for maybe your nephew or somebody, you know, uh, that's on that list. But you would maybe throw down $15 in free shipping on a smartwatch. Now, yesterday I was doing a shoot and somebody, I said, hey, can we start a timer so I know when to stop talking during this shoot? And she talked to her watch. <laughs> She said, you know, Alexa, start a timer. And I go, I'm sorry, did you just talk to your watch? I was like, ooh, fancy. She could talk to her watch and start a timer for her to help her at work. Alexa, in here, yeah. making phone calls from here. Waterproof, absolutely just keep it on, don't worry. Oh, the one thing I didn't ask you, What's the battery life on this? That was the one thing I didn't get to ask you. Yeah, so you should get, I mean, of course, depends on how much usage, but you should get about five to six days of battery life. I'm sorry, did you say days? Five to six days. Not the one that's really expensive, that's a produce that you have to charge up every night. That's exactly, I was just gonna say, yeah, every day, every night. That's every you have night. to get it connected, yeah. Uh, so, oh. the, so this one's five to six days, again, uh, depending on usage, but this one you should be able to get about, f about a no, week. If you said two days, you've outdone the produce. Well, I was gonna say, <laughs> the produce. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. We're producing here. Um, <laughs> But yeah, great, great battery life. I think if you, again, depends on, it depends on how you use it. You talk about Alexa right here. Let's see. What's the weather like today? Alexa's gonna be thinking here in a second. You're gonna make people all Oh, look, oh, do you see that? What does it say? That says, good morning, Justin. <laughs> how about that? How cool is that? Okay, let's tap I it thought again. somebody was calling you. What's the weather like? So again, now it's thinking. It's gonna oh, it be says thinking. Petersburg, it's 62 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 62 <coughs> degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Oh, hey, cool. Minnesota, okay. New York, uh, don't be you, mad at us. You got your jamboo boots on with, my, with Mrs. Laura Duffick, my, my work mom from 10 years ago, Miss Laura Duffick. Laura Duffick was your work mom? Uh-huh, she was. I love her. Um, so here's one, one really cool thing. So I was getting a text uh, earlier, so you can see all of your different notifications. Um, uh, I can see, oh, this is cool. You can see I got a text message from my grandma right here. Um, I'm going to go down. Let's see. I want to go down to this one. This one says... My mom texted me, Jambu is TS, you will see Laura. I don't know if Laura is watching right now, but you get all of your notifications right here and then you can read them. So you've got Alexa built right into your watch. You've got those notifications built right into your watch. This is just showing you right now, it's kind of, it has like a bunch of different just home screens that you can actually adjust and, and edit. And in the app, when you download it on your phone, this, this is perfect for Android and or Apple. So it doesn't matter, you know, if you're getting this as a gift, you're thinking about getting this for yourself. Any phone that you've got, Android and or Apple, this is gonna work with. When you download the app, all that, all that information you're gonna be able to see in that app as well, even has like a way that you'd be able to track, like, yeah. you know, if you were deciding like, I'm gonna go run for a mile, I'm gonna go walk for a mile, I'm gonna go walk for a half a mile, we'll be able to tell you kind of the distance that you, not just the distance, but it'll show you where you've walked as well, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, and I'll tell you, uh, let me just do, let me do the legwork for you. Do it. Okay, you're gonna go out there, you're gonna look at your list, you're gonna be like, so-and-so wants a smartwatch. Yeah. I, I can figure out which smartwatch that they want. Well, let me do the legwork. You're gonna go out there. They're gonna, gonna be smartwatches that are gonna say, yes, we track steps and calories and things like that. And then you're gonna go, okay, but I want a little bit more. Then you're gonna find some that do this or that. What you will not, the amount of smartwatches available to you is gonna become smaller and smaller by, can I take and receive phone calls from the watch? They all don't do that. Then they all don't do the Alexa and they all are not waterproof. They all are not at this price with, what do we say, five to six day battery life? Five to six days. So I'm gonna do the legwork for you. This has all the feature riches that you would want, the bells and whistles, it's got the long battery life, it's gonna be perfect for man, for woman. The amount of like um, holes that they put into the band, this is super duper adjustable, it's not like four holes and you're like, that only so so many wrists that are on here. Let me show you. Uh, the rose gold probably be better to show it on. But look at how many holes that they gave us as far as like adjustability. So you also don't have to know do they have a bigger wrist, a smaller yeah. wrist. I mean, look how many options they have on this baby to get it in. And that silicone band is super duper comfortable. Um, two choices. 
rose gold or black. Black is very popular during this presentation, Justin. Um, for $59.99 uh, for a $90 watch is what you're looking at. Um, I think we are down to the last 800-ish of these left. Uh, we've sold 700 of these right now. Uh, we're down to about 900 left. Uh, so I, I, so we've only had one other presentation. I, I highly doubt that this is going to last because, again, we started with six different colors. We're down to the last two. I just wanted to show you really that home button. So this is kind of like your dial right here. So when I tap that dial, it's going to bring me to all my different, uh, all my different apps that are going to be on here. So I've got exercise, for instance. So deciding on if maybe I just want to go for a nice little walk. So for instance, I've got an outdoor walk right here. All of a sudden, three, two, and one. Now it's going to start my outdoor walk. So it doesn't have to be, oh, I'm going to go hike. No, you don't have to, right? Um, this is just 60 different, I say just, there's 60 different exercises that you can have right here <clears throat> on your watch. If I want to be able to pause, play all my music while I'm actually doing <laughs> my exercise, it's now right here built into my watch. Um, if I want to go ahead and stop this, I can stop if I want to. I can scroll down here. I can see exactly what my heart rate is at the time during my walk, the distance that I've traveled right here. Again, I think you know, when we show you all these different things, these are things that you would typically see, and I can tell you because I own one, a $300 smartwatch. Uh, the other thing I want you to see right here here is, again, we were showing you that heart rate. You just go ahead, go to heart rate, and it's going to be able to see what your BPMs are. If you want to be able to see what your blood oxygen level is, we'll go back right here, go to blood oxygen level. I'm a, hy a hypochondriac, so I can't tell you. <laughs> I are am. you? Do you think you always have I, something? I, something's always wrong with me. Something's always wrong with me. I'm the opposite. I'm like, when something is wrong with me, and I'm like, ah, I'm fine. Are you? We're the complete opposite. Um, I need my watch to tell me, no, Tina, you need to go to a doctor. No, I need a watch to tell me, Justin, you're okay. You're okay. Um, It'll tell us both. So 97%, you want to be about 97, 98%. You've got all that right here. I think just being able to have that type of just confidence, again, in that type of smartwatch. When I hold that dial down, that's how I access Alexa. So I'll hold it down right now. Set a timer for one minute. It's going to start to think. It's listening. It's thinking. Oh, well, it's because I just started talking. When it's thinking <laughs> and listening, you don't talk. You should learn that early. Should I learn that? <laughs> um, when I'm listening. <laughs> when you're listening, you're not thinking. Um, but it, it acts just like your regular does. Alexa. It does. And so you've got all the really cool prompts. Obviously, I talked to <clears throat> at the wrong time right there. But you've got all these really cool prompts. Set timers. What's the temperature outside? Set, you know, just set reminders. Remind me, at, you know, in five minutes, in ten minutes to do all these different things. When we talk about having a smart assistant built into a watch, right. I don't think I've seen us do one at this value that has a smart assistant. I certainly haven't seen recently any of the smart watches that we've had that has Alexa built into it. And I love the fact that, yeah, although we're down to two different colors, there are still at least very unisex. The black, the pink, uh, I think for you know, perfect for everybody. And remember, when you're getting this for anybody, or you're saying, who's this good for, even if it's for yourself, uh, perfect for Apple and for Android. Yes. <clears throat> There's that produce oh, I was talking about. Oh, it's here, See? Time's so up. Oh, it did set the timer. It tricked me. See, look. It did set the timer. It says time's, uh, time's up. Uh, Justin was just uh, a little antsy. By the way, the face on it is customizable. So if yes. you want to put a picture of your kid, your grandkids, your dog, your cat, your favorite celebrity, Justin Hyatt, no judgment. You put whatever picture you want on there. So even the face, Hi they... Highly judge, judging. <laughs> So he's this is a, he's Judgy McJudgerson. I can't Judgy be because I do a lot of weird things. But uh, black or rose gold, we.